Good morning, Florida. Hi, I thought I'd answer a question about what do realtors do every day? It's 10 o'clock. I looked at my email. I've done some social media posting and writing, taken a shower, and I'm on my way to a home inspection of a home that's been under contract for about a week and I'll post more from there. See you later. I think I'll call this a day in the life. And guess what I do while I'm driving? I listen to podcasts. Probably like the rest of you, I listen to work-related podcasts. I listen to well-being podcasts. I listen to relaxation podcasts. And sometimes I just listen to the Eagles on my way home. Okay, so still driving and got a message from a builder that we've been waiting to hear from for my sellers that recently sold their home and are waiting to build new construction. And lo and behold, all of a sudden, I'm negotiating an offer for that buyer for their new construction house. I didn't know I was going to do that today, so surprise number one. See you later. Alrighty, arriving at my home inspection. Oh, there's my sign. I always like to see that. It makes me you happy. You have arrived at your destination. Yeah. The web guidance is now Here finished. Here we are. Driving down Beatnik Lane. in Coco, Florida. And here we are at the home inspection. Going to meet a home inspector. See you later. Mask on. Quick check-in. Just left home inspection. Buyers are happy. Happy to know about the house. Inspection's going well. Back in the car. I'm going to pull over in a second. My grandson in Chicago is having a meeting with his teachers at noon and they always invite me to be part of it and so part of my day. See you later. So this is funny. Part number three. New buyers looking for another house. I had to pull over, get information about that house, and now I'm sending written information and planning showing for later this evening after my next two stops, and I'm still negotiating an offer on new construction for my seller buyers who will be building a house soon, okay? It is really one busy day. It is currently 1.39, and I am only at my second stop. See you later. Alrighty, I guess this is stop number two. Had my lunch in the car. Walking into title company for a closing, yeah. So very excited that you are with me on my day today and heading up in the elevator. See you later. I'm really glad I'm doing this video because I didn't really realize how much I do in a day. Anyway, just got a call from a buyer and they want to see a home in Melbourne. So after I make my next two, three calls today, I'm going to go and show them a house they want to see. Wow, I guess I'm busy. And I should mention, I'm stopped at a light in Claremont, and I'm in the middle of a, doesn't look like much, but it seems to be a monsoon. One of the other things you have to face every day is some sort of weather in Florida, either sunny, hot, rainy, or monsoon. All right, back later. And here I am in the parking lot of the title company. Just wanted to share the weather with you. Uh, water is knee deep and um, 
guess I'm going to wait just a little bit before I go into the title company. Okay, day in the life continues. Closing number two, done. That buyer is out of town. They have their key. I'm now going to take it to their new home and put it in a lockbox for them. So when they come in the middle of the night this weekend, they can get into their new winter garden home. Okay, winter garden next. All right, here I am. New house. No one was here but me, so this key is going in this snack box. So exciting! So I'm almost to the end of closing number two. I'm in my buyer's great home that they're going to be moving into soon. And let's see, right out these windows, they are going to see Disney fireworks. They're super excited to be moving here. Um, but I'm not done with my day yet. At the end of every closing, I like to give everyone a housewarming gift, a closing gift. And so, this is going to be here to greet my guys when they arrive from their trip this weekend. Say welcome home. One more part, life of a realtor. So I can tell you, everyone thinks the life of a real estate agent is glamorous. And perhaps I did at some point, but... It's not always true, but it is always interesting. So right now I'm going onto the back porch of their new house with my broom that I brought because this porch is full of, I believe these could be cocoons for butterflies. They are literally everywhere on this back porch. And the people that are moving here from California are not used to bugs. And I told them this house would be butterfly cocoon free, if that's really what these are, by the time they got here. So, I am about to remove these cocoons. Yep, it's true. That's what realtors do. And of course, Everyone gets a Mickey key ring. Okay, so it's six o'clock, 6.07 actually, and I am now driving to pick up paperwork at the house where the inspection was earlier this morning. Because those sellers aren't home, and they won't be for a couple weeks, and the buyer's agent needs a document that's inside that house. So, on my way to show another house, but on my way there, I'm going to stop at the first house I started in this morning. Now, the funny thing is, I might sometimes take a picture of me on the phone all day. However, everything I've done today has been by text. And I certainly can't um, hold the phone and text at the same time and take a video. So here I am on the 417 heading east and um, more to come. I don't know. This is going to be a late one. So on my way to my last appointment and accident on the highway, officially going four miles an hour. I've been stopped for about 10 minutes. Two tow trucks, a wrecker, and I think the accident is right in front of me. Anyway, I will be late or perhaps, I don't know, we'll have to see how it goes. Might have to cancel my last appointment. Stay tuned. And coming up to, oh, bad one. Someone flew off the highway. Yikes. Several cars. Oh, hope nobody's hurt. Back on the road. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe this. This is two accidents. Oh my god, the other one was about a half a mile before this one. Oh 
holy Toledo. Man, bad night on I-95. <sighs> All right, moving again. 701. All right, so walking out of my last appointment of the day. There is a guitar pond, and these guys are out here to greet me. And I know they're hungry, and I know they're going to squawk. But they're here to eat dinner every night, I understand. It's 5 o'clock. Hi, guys. Hey, smile. You guys. Oh, they're gorgeous. Nope, not going to smile, not even going to look at us. All right, well, have a great weekend. And my Friday, life in a realtor, life as a realtor is almost to an end. Almost forgot. I got home, took a shower, going to have dinner, and it is 9.15. Thanks for staying.